In this lesson, we will discuss end behavior with an example graph to help us visualize. End behavior refers to the behavior of a graph as x approaches positive or negative infinity. Polynomial end behavior depends on two things, whether the degree is even or odd, and the sign of the leading coefficient. Let's go over some terminology we'll be using. When we say that a polynomial starts somewhere, typically up or down, which we'll get to in a second, that refers to the behavior as x approaches negative infinity, or the behavior on the left end of the graph. When we say that a polynomial ends somewhere, that refers to the behavior as x approaches positive infinity, or the behavior on the right end of the graph. Next, if we say that a polynomial starts or ends up, we mean that the y values approach positive infinity, or the plot trends upwards. And finally, if we say that a polynomial starts or ends down, we mean that the y values approach negative infinity, or the plot trends downwards. Applying this terminology to describe the end behavior of our example, we would say that this graph starts down and ends up. Okay, let's begin looking at odd degree polynomials. Since we know the end behavior of a polynomial depends on the leading coefficient, we'll look at two examples, one with a positive leading coefficient and one with a negative leading coefficient. Here are our two example graphs, and here are their corresponding equations. They're both quintic, or degree 5. Remember, the degree of a polynomial refers to the highest exponent on a variable. As you may know from the lesson on how many roots a polynomial can have, odd degree polynomials start and end in opposite directions, which is why they always have at least one root. This means that if an odd degree polynomial starts down, it ends up, like the example with the positive leading coefficient. And if one starts up, it ends down, like the example with the negative leading coefficient. So how does the sign of the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient on the highest degree term, affect the end behavior of odd degree polynomials? Well, as you may have already picked up, an odd degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient starts down and ends up. An odd degree polynomial with a negative leading coefficient does the opposite. It starts up and ends down. I find it useful to compare with a linear function of the form mx plus b when trying to remember how odd degree functions behave since we're already familiar with how the leading coefficient of a linear function affects its graph. If m, the leading coefficient and slope, is positive, the graph starts down and ends up. If m, the leading coefficient and slope, is negative, the graph starts up and ends down. This describes the end behavior of all odd degree polynomials. Okay, let's move on to even degree polynomials. Again, we'll look at two examples, one with a positive leading coefficient and one with a negative leading coefficient. Here are the graphs, and here are the corresponding equations. As you can see, both of our example functions are quartic. Note that even degree polynomials start and end in the same direction. If an even degree polynomial starts up, it ends up, like the example with the positive leading coefficient. If one starts down, it ends down, like the example with the negative leading coefficient. So how does the sign of the leading coefficient affect the end behavior? For an even degree polynomial, a positive leading coefficient results in a graph that starts up and ends up, or opens up. A negative leading coefficient results in a graph that starts down and ends down, or opens down. To help remember the end behavior of an even degree polynomial, I encourage you to compare with a quadratic function, like ax squared plus bx plus c. This is because, ideally, you're already familiar with how the sign of the leading coefficient affects a parabola, and this knowledge extends to all even degree polynomials. If a, the leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens up. If a, the leading coefficient is negative, the parabola opens down. Again, we can apply this to all even degree polynomials. Okay, that's all for n behavior. To summarize this video, here are the four possible cases and the corresponding end behavior laid out in table format. Make sure you are comfortable with this before moving forward. 